Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for every Sunday where I upload my weekly vlogs along with other little fashion related videos, beauty videos and all that jazz in between. This morning, I am actually starting the week with a little bit of a sponsored section within this video by a brand called Feel Good contact lenses so I have actually purchased these contact lenses in the past myself anyway uh, because I am a contact lens wearer they do a, an array of different colored contact lenses along with normal ones as well so the reason why I have purchased them in the past is because like I said because I have a prescripted contact lens and I wear them every day for like Halloween dressing up wearing fancy dress and wearing like contact lenses I can't because then I can't see because they're non-prescripted the typical colored contact lenses so I think in the past I bought like a really icy gray color for like some kind of Halloween costume really liked them really rated them and they recently got in touch with me and wanted to collaborate on this little section of the video so they have gifted me a few different contact lenses of which I'm going to unbox with you today and different colors so these are my natural eye color so i would say blue tom says they're green let me know which, what you think i think in this light as well they look more blue i thought i would change up and try some different colors first of all this is what they very kindly gifted so some cute little harry bow in there and they've also given me some solution and a little pot to put the contact lenses in i have three different sets of contact lenses the first one being let's open it up i love how they've like individually wrapped them <laughs> that's so cute Okay, so the first one is by the brand Fresh Look. I did order them in my prescription so that I can wear these all day. And I got this one in Caribbean Aqua. These are dailies. The next set are, let's have a look. So these are in grey. They're by the brand Fresh Look. These are dailies as well. And then last but not least, I think this is the one I'm most excited for. So these are by a different brand. They are Bosch and Lom. In fact, I think these are the ones my mum wears, Bosch and Lom. I'll have to ask her. This one's in Dark Hazel, which I'm really excited for. It's interesting to see what I'd look like with dark eyes. And then this one is Amazon, which if I remember rightly, is um i'll leave the links to all of these below but i think it's like a greeny blue color so which one shall i go for today okay let's try dark hazel okay these are actually definitely hazily rather than like a dark brown so if you're a little bit squeamish with eye products and putting things in your eyes then maybe look away because i know tom doesn't like it. it doesn't bother me like i said i have to do it every day anyway so let's just open these up That is how I put in a contact lens. Ah! That's so weird! Going in with the second now, because that looks a bit weird. You know like those dogs that have like one brown eye, one blue eye? Which I actually really want a dog like that. Okay, so I have hazel coloured eyes right now. This is so unusual for me to like look at myself with darker eyes if i wasn't looking at myself i can't tell any difference so it's only if i glance in the mirror that i'm like oh god what i'll do is i will take these out and put them in a solution so that i can still use them so they don't go to waste let me try on the other colors so you can see what different colors look like so when you do just pop them in a solution just to keep them like dry and safe all you need to do is literally take one of these so you know left and right eye so you don't like cross contaminate pop a bit of the solution in so then just to take them out all i do is pull down that lid a little bit and pull it out so it's not that scary it's quite easy once you get the hang of it pull it down pull it out that's how I do them, personally. I know everyone's probably different. I'll show you them each in their pod. Okay, so that's Caribbean Aqua. So as you can see, it's like a real bluey kind of colour. And here we have the Amazon. Oh, okay, Amazon is like a dark green. That is quite nice, actually. So that's going to be cool. And then, last but not least, grey. I think I'm going to try the grey ones because... 
as you can tell they're very very subtle and I feel like my blue popping through that grey could look quite nice so just oh, oh god <laughs> do you see it squirt me in the face yeah see that's quite subtle with my blue popping through can you see that is really blue and that's more of like a grey blue Oh, see, I really like this one. I think I'm gonna keep this one in for today. So let me just show you a bit closer in. Oh, gosh, I feel like I'm getting old. Uh, that is the gray ones. And I think this is my favorite. I will leave a link to their website down below along with a discount code for you guys as well. So let's crack on with this week's plans. Now, first of all, first plan of the day is to like start cracking on with doing a little bit of a room makeover in here because A, it's a mess and B, we've had a new delivery of this Lisa mattress. So I will be doing a full blog post review on this and I kind of, I'm thinking about changing this headboard, I don't know, Tom likes it, but I thought maybe like a linen cover on it, I don't know, or maybe just loads of cushions on the bed, just to make it nice and cosy in here. I wanna change out the prints a little bit on here as well. I kind of fancy getting a full length mirror in here as well, because I use it as a little bit of a second wardrobe. It would be quite handy to have a full length mirror there somewhere. I am also going into Manchester tomorrow with um, meeting Lydia, and then I'm also going for dinner with Tom and a couple of his um, like work friends so that is what we're doing tomorrow and then London throughout the rest of the week well I'm going home on probably Thursday heading into London Friday for a family wedding and staying there till Sunday then coming back here for Monday morning dentist appointment next week very organized I know everything I know what my schedule is this week which is just how I like to be very organized so yeah this little dress by the way is Primark number if you're interested I've got it in a different color like a rust color that I just live in in this weather when it's so hot it's nice and light my skin started peeling which is just brilliant <laughs> um we just can't hack this weather can we as Brits we can't handle it anyway let's crack on with week number 26 Seven, eight, I get confused. 28, oh my word, 28. Okay, so time to pick my jewelry giveaway winners. I have just gone on to vlog week 25, which I did um, a jewelry giveaway at the beginning of the video with Anna Louisa, if you remember. So I am going to just scroll down. I've loaded all the comments. I think we had about 98 people enter. So winner number one is stop Christine Chapman. Winner number two, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom somewhere. We have Claire Prince, And then back towards the middle, the last winner is Catherine Lamar. Congratulations to all three winners. I'm going to contact them now and send off their jewellery. Thanks a lot, bye. Happy Tuesday, off to Manchester later on this afternoon. <clears throat> it's a bit early. I think that's the first, first I've spoken today. But off to get my booze coffee in a reusable cup now because they've stopped doing the paper cups. Well, you can still get one of them, but you have to pay for them. So to get your free coffee, you have to bring a mug, which is fine. Saving the planet and all that. So that's what I'm going to do now. Grab a coffee and some breakfast work from home and then head into Manchester later. I am currently two big bin bags down. I'm sure plenty more to go. They are actually don't like clothes to donate. They're not gonna be ones that I'll sell on Depop because it'd just be too many to list every single item on Depop. So essentially, I'm having a little bit of a wardrobe clear out and this is what I'm wearing by the way to the wedding on um, frat, oh, it's actually on Saturday, the wedding. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. I thought I ruined it then. Whilst going through my wardrobe, I actually discovered this kind of, like, duster coat, which is from Primark, which I bought so long ago, but I've never actually worn. So that's the good thing about going through your wardrobe. You rediscover things that you've bought, which you've not even worn because you forgot it was there. So it's literally the perfect colour to that. Topshop like satiny dress that I found at TK Maxx 
And then this is the fascinator that I think I got from Outfit or Accessorize. That's the one I wore to the Aintree races when I last worked with them. I'm now going through picking out some outfits that I'm going to take to Manchester this afternoon to shoot with Lydia. I've got our new bedding on, if you can see. Love this. It's actually got really, really small sequins in it, so it's really pretty. And then linen and waffle cushions, all from TK Maxx and HomeSense. Shock. <laughs> I've got more bin bags to go. I've got YouTube on the go. It's now 11 o'clock. 12 one, two, setting off in three hours. So that is what I'm doing. I've got all the ad money bits that I wanted to get done this morning done. So that is what I'm doing for the next few hours. And I'll probably see you when I next get to Manchester. This heat wave in this country. <laughs> oh. So a bit of a change of plan because Lydia's now going to an event tonight, which I was meant to be going to, but because I've said yes to Tom, means that I am gonna miss that one, unfortunately. So we're not meeting today to shoot. We'll meet next week. So yes, I'm off to uh, something with Tom, which I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be to get the vlog camera out just because of who we're going with. It's kind of like his business partner. It's not really appropriate necessarily. It's just like a brewery tour we're doing and then we're going for food at Fazenda. Someone's just walked past. Cringe. Uh, so yeah, that is our plan for this evening. It's hot, 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 hot. We pit stop for a diet coke. 61. Oh, I missed that. We are near the brewery now. I feel full of hay fever right now. Yay. And I've just asked Tom if I can vlog tonight and he said no. <laughs> also, it's inappropriate. Uh, so, I'll let you know how it goes. So we do like a little tour yeah. from for about an hour, you think. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. And is it JW Lee's? Oh, look at them all, the geese. That's really random that they're just like along the middle of the road like that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Talks, Is that the brewery? talks about geese going, ah. Oh. Ah, oh, animals. In 1,000 feet, turn oh, right that? onto Lee Street. What? there. Interesting van. see me how amazing are these toilets from Fazenda. Hi! We've just eaten the most incredible food and you can't even see me. We can see that England are drawing right now, going into extra time for their Colombian game. I'm trying to find good lighting. There we go. So we're gonna go watch extra time and then head home. <laughs> are buzzing we literally just finished food at Fazenda which was amazing by the way so we went to watch the penalties and the extra time at Albert Schloss which was I mean you can hear everything going off right now oh good to Manchester Tom loves it but it scares me oh. <laughs> hello today is Friday and I'm actually at my parents I came over yesterday uh, because I'm off to London for a wedding, a family wedding, which is tomorrow. So we're gonna head down this eve, well, this afternoon. It's now 20 to 12, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna make some lunch. I think our train is around two, and I'm traveling with mum, dad, brother. We're gonna be staying at like the RAF Club Hotel, I think it's called, and then we're going for dinner there tonight, and we've got friends joining us, uh, but it's all in and around Mayfair area, so it's gonna be amazing. In this weather, it's pretty hot should be good nonetheless i'm gonna try a coffee with this i've heard good things about this almond breeze almond milk and then maybe a sandwich pretty empty fridge let's see what's in the pantry this is what we've gone for du -du -du. me and george are gonna share george is just trying on a suit okay very dapper yeah. We're missing the footy tomorrow. I'm sure we'll all have it on in the background. And we're off. Taxi's here. Female taxi driver. So unusual. Everybody ready? Yes. Yeah. 
Come on, let's go. Got the whole gang. <laughs> Train time. We've made it in the taxi en route now to the hotel. take this and we'll come up to your room. Let's go explore Hyde Park, I think, and then we're gonna go down for dinner and drinks in a bit. We just so happened to have stumbled across Buckingham Palace. We're actually just walking through the park now and it's gorgeous, everyone's out enjoying the sun. And yeah, I think we were like, is that Buckingham Palace? I think so. Yeah. Where is my room? Just finished our lovely evening dinner. Here it is. And now it's time for Love Island catch up once I get ready for bed. And then getting up in the morning, meeting for breakfast somewhere, and then heading off to the wedding. Good morning. We have arisen from our rooms and we're all gonna go for a nice little brunch somewhere. We're just exploring, where's this? London, Old Bond Street. <laughs> London. <laughs> Obviously, Old Bond Street is what we're doing. We're all wedding ready. Just waiting for the mother, as always. Wedding starts in 45 minutes. But it's also Pride, and it's also England Day today, yeah. so London is pretty busy. the night it's actually the morning Hello. Woo, woo. heading to bed i'll see you in the morning so, we're in. off to the train station and off home had a lovely weekend everybody yeah <laughs> Chicken bacon Caesar. Yeah. Those people don't get money from This, which is two pounds. I knew you wouldn't like that. One pound sixty eight. Two pounds. Yeah. Oh look at my arm from carrying my bag. And then this from Perrette. Delicious. I've just driven home, so we've just got home. I'm actually going to unload the car now. And then, I don't think Tom's at home. I think he's up at his mum's, so I might have a wander up and go and sit out in the garden, enjoy the sunshine for the rest of this afternoon, maybe have a barbecue or something this evening. And then probably just chill, because I'm pretty tired from the whole wedding experience. London was amazing. The wedding was beautiful. If you were interested, that church, that... I say it's a cathedral, it's not it's a church, but it was the Immaculate Catholic Church, something or other. I can't re quite remember the name, but it was beautiful. And then the reception that we had was at the Savile Club. So yeah, it was very, very beautiful beautiful it was very very beautiful and we had such a lovely weekend but now back home and back for another working week 
starting tomorrow so i think i'm gonna end this week's weekly vlog here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already and i will leave all the links to my social media channels down below if you wanted to come over and say hi and for now i will see you again next time bye guys oh i just hit myself in the face <laughs>